Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, Ron Shawley here for CarolinaSkiffOwners.com and for CarolinaSkiff.com itself, right? Um, what we're looking at is the back of our transom, okay? Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do today. We're going to be installing smart tabs on our Carolina Skiff uh, JVX18. And the first thing I want you to be aware of, okay, is you cannot, under no circumstance, do you want to run any boat with a hydrofoil on, on board and smart tabs installed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the, the hydrofoil from the motor and then we're going to proceed to the mounting of the smart tabs. On the okay, as you can see, I've removed the um, hydrofoil from the motor and um, I'm now getting ready to install the tabs onto the lower part of the motor here. Okay, so what I'll probably do is move the camera over here a little bit, try to get a good angle so you can see me working Which underneath one, first here. First of all, is you want to take your, 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 your mounting plate, okay, and you measure it, like they say, three to six inches from the edge of your boat. In this case, I'm going to mount it right level between my swim platform. You simply take a marker and you mark your your points, okay, where it's going to sit. Okay, so we see that it'll fit perfectly, okay? Okay, I just did a dry mount. So the dry mount shows that it Okay, open. as you can see, we have the mounting plate um, mounted onto the boat. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see that, okay? You can see the mounting plate, and it's not truly horizontal, but it follows, it follows the contour of the bottom of your transom. And I decided to go as low as possible um, to enable me to get the actuator up underneath my swim platform. As you can see we've mounted the um, starboard smart tab on the uh, back of the stern and I had to notch out the um, swim platform in the back for the actuator to Here we're looking at it up in there. The smart tab and it's been applied to both sides of the boat. Now side, side look have. at it here. You can better see. What we had to do is I had to move the um, speed sensor and my transducer over about an inch to make room for the smart tab, which was no big deal. Alright. And the smart tab is really, really easy to mount. Um, make sure you have a really good drill bit, okay? Ex especially when um, drilling a hole into a fiberglass body. Um, those of you who work on boats a lot already know this, but for those of you who are uh, beginners, I'm telling you what, trust me, sharp drill bit. The actuator bit, okay? is mounted up on top on a pivot, and you can see your five position holes, okay? They tell you to start off in the middle. Um, I chose to go to the back position, which gives you the most um, tension from your actuator. And all you do then is you remove the bolt and you move your actuator down to whatever setting you want. And on, they have a video online that you can watch that can ex explain, um, you know, setting your actuator. Um, but again, the smart tab, it's really simple. If I can do this while holding the camera, all, the pressure builds up. You see that? The actuator slides right back. So when the boat starts to move and the pressure come, the water pressure builds up here. It's hitting this tab, and then it, it's just going to give you that lift you need from your boat.
Here we are. We're going to check out the. Uh, we installed the smart tabs on the JVX18 Carolina Skiff as compared to a hydrofoil here in Catanning, Pennsylvania on the Allegheny River. We got a kid up here eating food. That's all these kids want to do is eat food. There we go. Big difference. There we go. Okay. Never know. Yeah. What? Well,